Hi, Gary and Eric. Uh, this is Ron Orenstein, and uh, this is probably the only audition, or one of the very few at least, that you are going to be receiving from Borneo. Um, I do apologize that I have no pianist available, and no one uh, currently able to read the dialogue with me, so I'm going to have to be a one-man performance with, with midi-file accompaniment. So I apologize for that, but it's uh, the only thing I can do at the moment. So uh, with that, we'll proceed. And also I'm going to, because I can't cut the MIDI files up, I'll have to do entire numbers uh, rather than bits just to uh, get them done. So thank you for your patience and tolerance, and uh, here goes. My name is Todd Bellington Wells. I'm a dealer in magic and spells, in blessings and curses, in every field persons, in prophecies, witches and elves. If you want a proud foe to make tracks, if you'd melt a rich uncle in wax, you've but to look in on our resident gin number 70 Simbury Axe. We've a first rate assortment of magic, and we're raising a posthumous shade with effects that are comic or tragic. There's no cheaper house in the trade. Love filter with quantities of it. And for knowledge, if anyone burns, we're keeping a very small prophet, a prophet who brings us unbounded returns. For he can prophesy with the wink of his eye, peep in security, into futurity, sum up your history, clear up a mystery, human proclivity, fallen nativity, fallen nativity. He has answers or racking to bow his spectacular, take the practical, mirrors so magical, facts astronomical, solemn or comical, and if he wants it, he makes a reduction on taking a quantity. Ah! If anyone anything lacks, he'll find it already in stacks. If he'll only look in on a resident gin, number 70 simmery hacks. He can raise you hosts of ghosts, and that without reflectors, and creepy things with wings, and gaunt and grisly specters. He can fill you crowds of shrouds, and horrify you vastly. He can rack your brains with chains, and gibbering grim and ghastly. And then if you plan it, he changes organity with an urbanity full of satanity, fixes humanity with an inanity fatal to vanity, driving your foes to the verge of insanity. <laughs> But in tautology, in demonology, necrobiology, mystic nosology, spirit philology, high class astrology, such as histology isn't the one to require an apology. Oh, my name is John Wellington Wells. I'm a dealer in magic and spells, in blessings and curses and every fit persons, in prophecies, witches and elves. And if anyone anything lacks, he'll find it already in stacks. If you'll only look in on our resident gin, number 70, Simmery Hacks. Oh, horrible, she's going to adore me. This last catastrophe is overpowering. My lady, leave me. This can never be. Hate me. I drop me H's F through life. Hate me. I always eat peas with a knife. Hate me. I sometimes roll down one tree hill. Hate me, I sometimes go to Rochelle. Hate me, that's not enough. Hate me, the life is rough. Hate me, the joy my lot. Hate me, they'll suit you not. 
at what I'm going to say. Be not enraged. I may not love you for I am engaged. Engaged to a maiden fair with bright brown hair and a sweet and simple smile who waits for me by the sounding sea in a South Pacific isle. A lie, no maiden waits me there. A lie, no maiden smiles on me. The sounding sea. Though agony made despair, oh, where will this end? Oh, where I should very much like to know. It will certainly be my fault if she goes to a family vault to bury her lifelong wall. Be her fault if she goes to a family vault. The vault. The family vault. The vault. The vault. The family vault. vault. The family vault. Yeah. Yes, the family vault. As Mr. Wells. Yes, sir, we practice necromancy in all its branches. We have a choice assortment of wishing caps, divining rods, amulets, charms, and counter charms. We can cast you a nativity at a low figure. And we have a horoscope at three and six that we can guarantee. Our abuda chests, each containing a patent hag that comes out and prophesies disasters with spring complete, is strongly recommended. Our Aladdin lamps are very chaste, and our prophetic tablets for telling everything from a change in ministry down to a rise in United are much inquired for. Our penny curse is one of the cheapest things in the trade. It's considered infallible. We have some very superior blessings, too, but they're very little asked for. We've only sold one since Christmas to a gentleman who bought it to send to his mother-in-law. But it turned out he was afflicted in the head and it's been returned on our hands. But our sale of penny curses, especially on Saturday nights, is tremendous. We can't turn it out fast enough. Continuing as well, as I have sent for you to consult you on a very important matter. I believe you advertise a patent oxyhydrogen love at first sight filter. Sir. It is our leading article. Oh, I would want to know if you can confidently guarantee it is possessing qualities for which you claim for it in your advertisement. Sir, we are not in the habit of puffing our goods. Ours is an old established house of a large family connection and every assurance held out in our advertisements is fully realized. Oh, Alexis, don't offend him, etc., etc., etc. How do you sell it? In buying a quantity, sir, we should strongly advise taking it in the wood and drawing it off as you happen to want it. We have it in four and a half and nine gallon casks, also in pipes and hogsheads for laying down, and uh, we deduct 10% for prompt cash. I should mention I'm a member of the Army and Navy stores. Ah, in that case, we deduct 25%. Alexis, the villagers will assemble, etc., 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 down to, and how soon does it take effect? in 12 hours. Whoever drinks of it loses consciousness for that period and on waking falls in love, as a matter of course, with the first lady he meets who's also tasted it and his affection is also returned. One trial will prove the fact. Good then, Mr. Wells, I shall oblige if you pour as much, etc., etc., but bless me, many of these villagers are married people. Madam, our filter is compounded on the strictest principles. On married people, it has no effect whatever. But are you quite sure that you have nerve enough to carry you through the fearful ordeal? In the good cause, I feel nothing. Very good, then. We will proceed at once to the incantation.
the air is charged with amatory numbers. Soft madrigals and dreamy lovers lays. Peace, peace, old heart. Why awaken from its slumbers the aching memory of the old, old days? Time was when love and I were well acquainted. Time was when we walked ever hand in hand. A saintly youth with worldly thought untainted. None better loved than I in all the land. Time was when maidens of the noblest station, forsaking even a military man, would gaze upon me wrapped in adoration. Ah, me, ah, me. I was a fair young curate. Had I a headache, sighed the maids assembled. Had I a cold, well forth the silent tear. Did I look pale, then half a parish trembled, and when I coughed, all thought the end was near. I had no cares, no jealous doubts hung o'er me, for I was loved beyond all other men. Fled gilded dukes and belted earls before me. Ah, me! Ah, me! I was a pale young curate then, a pale young curate, a pale young curate, on me I was a pale young curate then. I would point out that it's very, very hard to hear the MIDI file, so if I got off it a bit, I apologize. I won't do that with an orchestra. Pain, trouble, and care, misery, heartache, and worry. Quick, out of your lair, get you all gone in a hurry. Toil, sorrow, and plot, fly away quicker and quicker. Three spoons to the pot, that is the brew of your vicar. Three spoons to the pot, that is the brew of your vicar.